Good afternoon. I hope that you and your loved ones are healthy, safe, and are finding a silver lining in these times by being able to spend quality time with family together. We're being required to find new strengths within ourselves. The Quinnipiac community has shown that from adversity rises resilience, from challenge emerges opportunity, from need rises compassion. Supporting our local communities, our neighbors, and one another has never been more important. And Quinnipiac students, faculty, and staff are stepping up in moving ways all across the country. This weekend is the day of our annual big event with typically more than 1,500 students and additional faculty and staff immerse themselves in community service projects throughout our neighboring towns. Even though our students are at home and dispersed around the nation and world, I know they are still moved by the spirit of the big event. I'll share with you just a few of the many stirring examples of acts of kindness I've seen pop up across our QU community. I've seen pictures from university staff who are displaying lights in the shape of a heart to express their gratitude for healthcare workers. Medical students, faculty, and clinical staff are donating supplies to create home face masks for clinicians and staff on the medical front lines across Connecticut. Students are working with the United Way to transport groceries to the homes of the elderly in their communities. Three alumni recently launched whileathome.org, an online clearinghouse that's getting national attention that provides tools, information, and support for those affected by COVID-19. Our own recently launched Quinnipiac Student Care Fund has already raised $72,000 and is providing critical financial support to our students in need. Some students here in Hamden are working with their elderly neighbors to pick up groceries and medication and deliver them to the elders' homes. And our fantastic facility staff are readying residence hall apartments to house fire, police, and medical workers who need a place to stay while responding to community needs and healing those who've fallen ill. These are the ways Bobcats rise to help others. You know how you, in particular, can bring comfort and joy to another person who needs it now more than ever. Over the last few weeks, my husband and I have made a point to connect with older friends who we think might be lonely, might want to talk, need an understanding ear to express their fears, or just to connect with another live voice. I encourage you to find your own unique way to give back to another person or to your local community who need your kindness. Sadly, it's going to get tougher in the days and weeks ahead until we are past the worst of this crisis. And we will get past it. There is comfort in doing what we can for others. The helping spirit of Quinnipiac is alive and well in neighborhoods around the world. Together, we are showing the power of we and what it means to be Bobcat Strong. Be safe and be kind.